What is up everyone, Andrew here, back with another video for you. So I've been using the iPhone 12 for a couple of weeks now, and let me tell you, I think it is gonna become the default iPhone for a lot of people that are upgrading from older devices, just because it's such a good phone. So let's talk about that. So to start off, I think the new design is the thing that's most striking about this new phone. Uh, it's got these squared off edges instead of the rounded corners like on the iPhone 11 all the way back to the iPhone 6. Definitely feels like an iPhone 4 or 5 uh, just because of those squared off edges. And it also feels a little bit smaller and a little bit lighter than the iPhone 11 that came before it. And it just makes it more comfortable and easier to hold in the hand and use for long periods of time. And the iPhone 12 is pretty much completely flat on both sides, aside from the camera bump, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit. In terms of ports and things on the iPhone 12, on the left side, you get the mute switch as well as the volume up and down buttons. On the bottom of the phone, you get the microphone, lightning port, and the speaker. On the right side, of course, you get the sleep-awake power button. Right below that, you get the 5G antenna, which allows for like super fast uh, cell connection speeds, which I think is so cool. And on the front, you have the Face ID system with the front-facing camera and the earpiece, which doubles as the stereo speaker. Speaking of the front of this phone, on the iPhone 12, there is a significant improvement in terms of display quality and technology over the iPhone 11 and pretty much every iPhone that came before it. It has much slimmer bezels all the way around, and it's now using a technology called OLED, uh, which means that each pixel can light up on its own instead of having one big backlight to produce all the things that are on the screen, like on an LCD panel, uh, which is what the iPhone 11 and pretty much every iPhone before it has. This OLED panel drastically improves black levels and contrast and colors, uh, meaning that it looks pretty amazing. It's pretty bright uh, and the quality and resolution are both very solid. So overall, the display on the iPhone 12 does not disappoint. It's very amazing. And I do find it noticeably more comfortable and easier to use than the iPhone 11. Uh, just because of those slimmer bezels, it feels more sleek and more modern. And I just like the way that it looks. All the iPhone 12s this year still use Face ID, which is really quick and really effective. Uh, the only downside I see is that whenever I'm wearing a mask, which is whenever I'm in public these days, it's kind of inconvenient because I have to type in my passcode or wait a second for the passcode to pop up. Not really a big deal, but it's something to take note of. The performance of this phone is absolutely amazing, and I have a feeling it's going to last for the, like the next four or five or even six years. All of this performance that we're getting now doesn't really matter as much in the beginning of its life cycle as it does towards the end, like three or four years from now when there's a bunch of software updates and all these new phones coming out. I highly doubt that we're going to see any kind of slowdown on this iPhone 12 because it's just that efficient, powerful, and well-performing. And speaking of power, in terms of battery life on the iPhone 12, it's really good. Uh, I've noticed that it's about the same as my iPhone 11 was, and that's saying a lot because I usually end the day with about 40 or 50% left after a decent amount of screen on time throughout the day. But I feel like the battery is gonna be more than enough for most people to get through at least a full day of charge, maybe more. So I think that's great news for a lot of people. In other news, I feel like the camera quality on the iPhone 12 is absolutely spectacular. I have no complaints whatsoever. Uh, the pictures in the video seriously look amazing, both during the day in good lighting and at night in bad lighting and anything in between. So I feel like the main focus for this year's iPhones was the cameras and I feel like that is amazing. The back cameras, there's two of them. Uh, there's the wide angle lens, which is the normal one where you're gonna take most of your pictures and videos. And then there's the ultra wide lens, which gets you a really wide field of view and you're able to get a lot more in the shot, whether it's video or photos. And then you also get night mode on both of these cameras as well, which I think is really cool. And on the front facing camera, you also get night mode. It looks really good. You get slow motion selfie video. Uh, you get pictures and videos that look really good. And I think overall the cameras are just stellar on the iPhone 12. A little fun fact with the front facing camera on the iPhone 12 is that if you're taking a selfie and you turn it sideways, uh, it's going to zoom out a little bit to give you a little bit wider field of view. Uh, and also the front facing camera quality in terms of video is really good. And that's actually how I'm recording this video right now on the iPhone 12 front facing camera. So that's pretty cool. Overall, I feel like these cameras are great and I feel like they're going to be good for most people no matter how much people use them. Uh, I just think people are going to really like them. The last thing on my mind is the price of the iPhone 12. You might be able to find it for $799 in some places, but most places offer it for $829 uh, for 64 gigabytes of storage to start. In my mind, I feel like it could either cost a little bit less 
or if it's gonna be at the same price, have a little bit more storage. Uh, but I guess for what you're getting, that I think the price is justifiable uh, since this is such an amazing phone overall. One thing you should keep in mind uh, if you're gonna buy the iPhone 12 is that there's no charging brick or earphones in the box anymore. Uh, kind of whack if you ask me, but I feel like this won't be too big of an issue for people who are upgrading from older iPhones because we already have like charging bricks, charging cords, uh, or wireless chargers and headphones to use with this one. Uh, again, kind of whack, uh, but Apple did it to save e-waste in the environment. So I guess there's a benefit to that, but also a drawback depending on how you look at it. All in all though, I feel like the iPhone 12 is an amazing device and I feel like a lot of people are gonna like it just because of the cameras, the battery life, the overall well-roundedness, even though it's square. I feel like it's really easy to hold in the hand. It's just really comfortable. And I think, I hope that a lot of people will like it just as much as I do. That's all I got. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you all have a good day. Talk to you later.